Welcome to this tutorial we are doing today on the bones of our lower leg, focusing on naming and basic structures of our tibia and fibula. Before we get started with the naming, let's have a look at our pictures here and sort out our directional terminology so we know what we are looking at. So we have an anterior view here of the tibia and fibula and a posterior view. So we've got anterior looking from the front, posterior looking from behind, our lateral view, so looking from the side, and the medial view, so looking from the midline of the body. Before we get started naming the structures of the tibia and fibula, we need to know the actual bones themselves. So the bone that I've highlighted here in pink is our tibia, the larger of the two bones in our lower leg, and the one that's going to articulate with our femur to form our knee joint. And the smaller bone that I've just highlighted in blue is our fibula, which has a more supportive role in the lower leg. Now let's have a look at the structures that both of these bones have on them. The first structure we're going to see is the head of our fibula. I'm just outlining it here, the head of our fibula we can see from the anterior and posterior, and the head of the fibula is what's going to interact with our tibia. So it will articulate and form a joint with our tibia, and it's also going to be a point of tendon attachment for muscle. So articulation point and tendon attachment. The next structure we're going to have a look at is our lateral malleolus. Our lateral malleolus we can think of as a protuberance, not much unlike the styloid processes that we see on our ulna and radius. So it's going to be a point of the fibula that articulates with our tarsal bones, namely our talus. So it's forming a joint, and if it's forming a joint we're also going to see ligament attachment in that area as well. So ligament attachment and articulation, and I highlighted it at the bottom of the fibula on the drawing here. The head of the fibula and lateral malleolus are the only real two points on the fibula that we need to focus on for an anatomy one level of knowledge, so we can jump straight over to our tibia now and see its unique structures. Our tibia is the bone we commonly refer to as our shin bone. And due to it being much larger than our fibula, naturally it's going to have a few more features associated with it. The first of which being our tibial tuberosity, which I'm outlining here. So our tibial tuberosity here is a roughened elevation of the bone on the superior portion of the anterior surface. And it's going to be a point where our patella ligament will attach inferiorly. So below our knee is where the patella ligament attaches here to our tibia. The next feature we're going to see is our lateral condyle. The lateral condyle being on the outer surface of the tibia, so not on the medial side toward the middle of the body here. And I'll show you on the posterior as well, we've got the lateral condyle here. It's going to be a point of articulation and also a point of tendon attachment. So if it's a point of articulation, and I said at the beginning of this video our tibia is going to articulate with our femur to form our knee joint, our condyles of the tibia is going to be where that happens. So our knee joint forms here, interacting with the lateral condyle and with the medial condyle. And with that, the next feature I should just draw up is that articular surface where the femur and tibia are going to interact. So right here in the purple, right at the top, that condyle on the superior surface and on the posterior there as well. So I said we also have our medial condyle. Medial condyle being very similar to the lateral condyle, but not extending out quite so far because it doesn't need the lower portion that will interact with our fibula, but it's also going to be quite a large articular surface and also a point of tendon attachment and articulation. And like I did with the lateral, I'll just 
draw up the surface on the tibia here on the medial side where that articular surface is. So articular surface and just up here. So here and here interacting with the two condyles of our femur. In between these two condyles of our tibia there is a portion of bone that is not dedicated as the articular surface for the femur. It is actually a slight elevation toward the middle called the intercondylar eminence and I'm just highlighting it here on the anterior and also on the posterior. So intercondylar meaning in between the condyles. You may also hear the intercondylar eminence referred to as the tibial spine, so just remember that name in case you come across it. Now anteriorly and posteriorly to this elevation of bone are roughened depressions that are going to be attachment points for our anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. So they're going to attach anteriorly and posteriorly. Very important ligaments that aid in the structural integrity of our knee joint. One of the last features we are going to see here is our anterior border of the tibia. A long line extending from the base of our tibial tuberosity to the medial border of our medial malleolus and I'm just tracing it out here. This is one of the main attachment points on our bone for the deep fascia of the leg, otherwise called the crural fascia, after the crural area that we named this uh, lower leg area. This is a connective tissue sheath, mainly consisting of our connective tissue fibers such as collagen, and we will learn more about uh, the function of a fascia in a later video. While we are talking about connective tissue, I've just highlighted our interosseous membrane. Interosseous membrane meaning between bone. Like with the interosseous membrane of our forearm, the membrane of our leg helps to separate the muscles of our lower leg into anterior and posterior compartments. Now, I'll just go back up to our lateral malleolus here and below it I'll put our medial malleolus as well. And I'll also highlight it here at the bottom of our tibia in the yellow. Now the medial malleolus is going to have those same uh, jobs, so it's a point of ligament attachment and articulation. And like the lateral malleolus, it's going to interact with our talus, or articulate with our talus, which is one of our tarsal bones. And finally with that, the last structures we're going to look at are the articulation points between those two bones themselves. And it's called the tibiofibular joints. Uh, just like we had on our forearm as well, we're going to have one proximally and one distally. I'm just highlighting the proximal tibiofibular joints here, which are going to be connected by ligament to each other. And distal at the bottom of the bone where the two bones meet here. Also connected by ligament. That covers all of the basic features of our tibia and fibula, the bones of your lower leg. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.